Hello everyone, Oscar here from Stable Energies. We're here at English Town for Formula Drift Weekend. We're here with Alex Jager. What's up? How's it going? <laughs> you know? Welcome to, well you're here, you're from here. Sorry, you're from New Jersey. So you know how hot and brutal it can be. <laughs> we got a quick couple questions. We'll see in a pick of your brain. One of our local hometown heroes, heroes here in English Town. Yeah, dude, you know, you guys, uh, it's so cool that you guys are from this, you know, state and area and whatnot, because it's probably close for you. Um, and most people around here, if you're into cars, you know what Stable Energies is. So it's cool that you come out and show, uh, you know, some support to us. Cool, cool, cool. First question. Wow, wow, quick check. <laughs> Dude, that is hard, man. I bounce between these two all like all the time. Right now, I'm, I'm a little more Wawa, I'll be honest, a little more Wawa. I kind of moved from North Jersey to Central Jersey, so I'm embracing the Wawa life. Cool, cool. What got you into drifting? What, oh, what got me into drifting, I think really is, um, a lot of my friends were into drifting, coming to Club Loose and stuff like that as I was getting out of high school. Um, I was a big rally nut, super into rally, like I just always wanted to do rally and I went to Dirtfish Rally School and my instructor was like, yo dude, all you want to do is drift. He's like, you won't stop drifting. Have you ever thought about building a drift car? So uh, I was like, all right. I went home, I consulted with my friends who had drift cars and we built a, uh, a 1JZ S13. We got a whole bunch of stuff from you guys for it, believe it or not, um, and went out into my first drift event. That was 2014, so that was uh, 10 years ago now, nice, nice. dude. It's crazy. Next question. Taylor Ham or pork roll? Uh, I'll die on this grave or this hill. It is, uh, it's Taylor Ham. If you look it up, if you look it up, it was Taylor Ham first, and the FDA suggested that it should be changed, and they changed it to pork roll. Look it up. There you go. Next question. If not drifting, what type of racing do you think you'd get into? Um, if it, if it was really up to me, I would really, really love to do rally, like I said before, kind of like as a real sport. If I Outside of rally, yeah. I'm very passionate about uh, like hard enduro dirt bike racing. I grew up racing dirt bikes my whole life. Um, and if I could be better at that, I would definitely really like to do that besides drifting too. I mean, I do ride all the time, but I just can't get the same support in it because I, I kind of suck on a dirt bike compared to drifting a car. So I just love doing it. Cool, cool, cool. Next question, Starbucks or Dunkin'? So, as someone who gets Dunkin' literally probably four days of the week, um, I still think Starbucks is better. <laughs> wow, there you go. <laughs> Next question, what really got you into cars? Who is your biggest inspiration? Wow, dude, that's tough. Um, I've been into cars since I was, I could walk. My first word was wheel, it's a true story. Um, I've always just been into cars, and it's weird because no one in my family is into them. Like, uh, my family was all medical background, my dad was a doctor, everyone in my family was doctors and stuff like that. So I didn't really have an influence in it, I just kind of always got into them. One of my, one of my cousins was kind of a motorhead, um, so I guess he kind of got into it. I'd say as an inspiration, uh, as a growing up a Subaru rally kid, I definitely like Colin McRae. He was a big inspiration, you gotta, you know, put some respect to him. Um, yeah. In the drifting world, funny enough, I raced for him. Chris Forsberg literally was an inspiration to me. So it's crazy that I get to race on his team. I'm very fortunate in that aspect. So I'd probably go with those guys. Uh, lastly, do you have anything to say to your fans and everyone who's watching? You know, I would say anyone that is here or watching this, you know, thanks for supporting us. Drifting is a crazy small but big world. So it's, it's really cool. Everyone's very passionate. Um, you know, big props to you guys. Like I've said, every dude, my first Hans, my first suit, my first everything I ever got, helmet was all through you guys. I came and got fitted up and since since I started drifting, you guys always supported whether I was with Club Loose, whether I was, I used to work at Monticello Motor Club, so I was with them. You guys always supported us. So, you know, big ups to you guys and always being there. Um, we'll always be here for any of the drivers that need support. That's yeah. it. That's all it's about, dude. Cool. Keeping us safe. <laughs> Thank you, sir. For sure, man. One, two, three. Thanks, As always, guys. Oh, sorry. sorry. My bad. What the hell? One, two, three. Now we're doing it? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. All right, you ready? This is going to the spoiler grill this time on the right. One, two, three, go. All right, think, think fast, fast, be, be safe. safe. Oh, that's better. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right.